Hi, this is Uncle John, and I'm going to go ahead and try and do a quick Let's Play where I actually am going to record as I play, though I'm doing it on two different devices, so the audio may not be perfectly synced up when I when I mutch these together. Um, I'm in Lookout Landing. I'm doing a little bit. I was doing a little bit of cooking, and um, I'm going to go ahead and sell some stuff and do some more cooking to make a quick t cooking tutorial. Uh, I'm in Tears of the Kingdom, as is obvious from it being Lookout Landing. Um, but a lot of this is going to apply in Breath of the Wild. But there are some substantial quality of life improvements. So I have filled up my inventory. So I'm going to go over to Mubs here and sell some stuff. Um, so... She's got a little bit of dialogue, and we tell her to buy our stuff. So let's go over to our cooking. Um, so this particular pumpkin pie I don't need. Um, I do like these tough dishes that I've got some high times on, but I let's get rid of some stuff that's got some lower times. I'm going to show you how to get good time on your stuff so um like this was um four minutes and 30 seconds and this other one's 520 so mm, that gives me a lot of hearts let's let's leave it there okay Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, some of these are a little bit less um, quality, shall we say. So that's matched, so I like it. It gives me si it restores six gloom hearts and. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of our roasted stuff. Well, on that crab, I only had one, and I'm just so used to automatically hitting the down stick and selling all of them. That was a failed cooking experiment. Well, it wasn't failed. It was a cooking experiment. Um, so now we've got a little bit of room for our food. Um, so we're going to go back to the cooking pot and look out landing. Okay. So... Let's find it. And I'm sorry if I'm making you sick by yanking the camera around like that. I just can remember where my thing was. So, one of the really nice things about Tears of the Kingdom is, is that you can go to an ingredient and you can go select for recipe and it will pull up the various recipes that you've made with it, including their effects. So... I don't like any of these right now, but, um, so with tough items, um, what we can do is we can actually get a different recipe and kind of modify things a little bit. So let's go with this tough cheesy baked fish except that let's um, this is another great thing you can remove things with the X button and we can make a completely different dish the pumpkin and the iron shroom have the exact same mechanical values um, now the 
Armored Porgy gives us the most amount of defense boost so that we can use fewer tough ingredients. Um, the two mushrooms will still top us out at a three stage toughness increase and then our cheese and our butter will increase the duration. Now cheese does not exist in Breath of the Wild but you can use milk or sugar or other ingredients that also will increase duration to do the same. Nuts will increase duration but they increase duration the same as just adding another ingredient. So let's go ahead and toss these into the pot and we do the little song and dance and done and link is always so happy and this looks like it was actually a critical success because that 1010 is not necessarily where it should be but if we go back in now that we've done that and we go select for recipe on this one it's 510 is what it should actually be five minutes and ten seconds um, so there you go that's using two boosts to get an increase in time Whereas if you just did a regular, um, a regular cook with all tough ingredients, it would only be a four minute and 10 second boot, uh, duration like with these mushroom skewers.